just ask about um, the response to your response to the results in Congressional District Three last night, Swazi winning, and in what ways do you think, if you think, uh, this might be a bellwether for other congressional races, or is it a different sort of situation because of the you know heavy um, Jewish population there and some of the local issues that affect New York, like the migrants here? No, I think what uh, the race was talking a great deal about was migrants. And that will have an effect on other races here in the state of New York. This is, we have, we have six battleground seats that we need to hold and to, or to flip and to ensure that Hakeem Jeffries is the speaker. And why is that so important? Yes, I congratulated Tom Swazi. I've been working with him since the day I said, I support you running because that was an important dynamic for him to be able to run. Uh, we made that happen. I have raised him money. I have given him resources. I have called him almost daily to shape and talk about what we need to do. And what he saw me do was to call out the Republicans in the state of New York for refusing to march down the hall to Speaker Johnson's office and say, we demand, 10 of us demand, that you pass the Senate bill, the bipartisan bill put together by conservative senators and Democrats and President Joe Biden to be able to shut down the border during this crisis time, to bring more border protection and efforts to the border, to change the asylum standards from how loose they have become to actually make sure that they are meaningful like they are in other countries, and to send money to the state of New York. Their refusal to do that, I believe, played a role because Tom Swayze could point the out the hypocrisy, the shocking hypocrisy of Republicans in our own state to do what they have the power to do, and they keep pointing fingers at everybody else, I have said they now own this problem. They broke the deal, they now own it. So this is what will be used against Republicans, certainly in our state, because I'll be involved in this, but this is a major victory. It wasn't even close, and the voters of that district said, we are not putting up with this, we see through it. We also support someone who stands strongly on reproductive rights, abortion rights will continue to be a major issue, the differential between Democrats and Republicans. And so you know, last night we saw the road ahead, and it is a clear road, a clear path to victory for Democrats to make sure we win the House of Representatives, because we need it. We get the House back, all of a sudden we have the resources, the support, and the ability to manage the migrant crisis.